Hello everyone and welcome to, well, Double Digits. This is part 10 of Silent Hill Homecoming. And believe it or not, this is home. After a uh, horrible, horrible makeover. Yeah, I've got to say, I don't really like what they did with the place. Um, removed all the furniture and everything. <laughs> I think I preferred it the way it was. I also picked up a mask from that generator looking thing over there. This angry mask. And that's not even to mention that my mother has also been kidnapped, pretty much. By, I think, members of the Order, but I'm not entirely sure about that. But, uh, yeah. Let's see if we can remedy the situation, shall we? I've already tried putting the mask back. It doesn't seem to work, so, uh, there's nothing else we can do in here. Can't even turn those, so let's go elsewhere. Let's see what they've done with the place. Let's see if we can actually find the furniture. I don't know. Yeah, okay, so there's a lever over here that I think opens and closes a door. Uh... And there's something over here on the wall. I know I read this last time, but I just want to go back to it. To escape to the future, you must know the past. We are bound to our pain, remember, and set us free. Okay, and for the second time, I think I've just noted that down in my journal. We've got lights above these doors. I'm, I'm assuming they represent one of these lights on the lever. I'm not sure, though. Right, I probably should just have a look at this, shouldn't I? Can we use this? Uh, yes and no. No, the door won't budge. How do I unlock it? I suppose I have to kill this thing to start with. With my newfound weapon. Oh, God. Oh, God. Right. I don't know why I'm trying to be fancy. <laughs> Maybe I should just stun lock it. Use the speed and it doesn't stand a chance. Bloody hell. Where'd that come from, though? Drop down from upstairs, maybe? I think that green light, seeing as these two are red, that might be for a door upstairs. I think it may have been the bedroom door or something upstairs? I can have a look at that. But yeah. That's what they are. Right, there's, there's four symbols around this door. Four doors that can be unlocked by this lever, and four symbols by those doors. So I think we have to do something in each of those areas to unlock the door. You following me? I think I'm following me. Right. Uh, let's see. What are we going to do? Health drink, first aid kit? Have I even used the first aid kit yet? I don't even think I have. I'll try health drink. Yeah, why not? Okay. Yeah, let's go upstairs and see if we can go through the door that I unlocked last time. Was it the... Right, it was actually to the attic, not the bedroom. But yeah, two more symbols. I get this. I get this. Okay. First off, though, yeah. <laughs> Can I pick this up? Uh, maybe. It's an old meat cleaver. Yeah. Okay. Is that a new weapon? Doesn't really matter, but... Ah. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. If it was if it was going to turn up on this wheel, I wouldn't have used it anyway, probably. But, um, there must be an inventory item. Yeah, there it is. Maybe it's too blunt to use. Although it was, like, embedded in this thing, so... Don't know. What about this door? It opens. Okay. So, uh, welcome to the new bedroom. Um, not really a satisfying place to sleep. Much noisier. Less floor. Yeah. I kind of like what they did- what the fuck? Oh, that's- <laughs> Oh! Oh, there is actually a place to sleep in here, it's just on the fucking ceiling. Not very comfortable. Different. But, uh, yeah, I kind of like what they did with the windows, turning them into sort of... stretched skin. Or this. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> That's cool. I thought it just disappeared. It just it went upstairs. Right. So this is the ensuite bathroom. What are we going to find in here? Well, we're going to start off by finding a mask. The expression on this mask feels cold, just like Mum. So this time, not an angry one, but an indifferent one. Okay. Anything in the sinks? No. Blood. Something hideous growing out of the toilet that I can't use, and I can't actually attack either. It's made of stone. Anything in the bath? Oh, I think so. Robbie the rabbit again? Yeah, a stuffed bunny. It's wet and covered in mold. <laughs> At least this time I don't have to reach into a hole to find it. Uh, yeah, skin for the windows. Not bad, eh? Alright, judging by Alex's neck movements, I don't think there's anything else he's noticing, so... Yeah. 
I think we're probably done exploring this area. I should probably make my way to the attic. A couple of reasons why. One, the door's unlocked, and two, that's what the uh, the save file to this area was called, so I assume there's something quite good up there. Right, so the TV's gone, the sofa's gone, and it's not on the ceiling this time. Another one of these things. Wait. This is on a track. I think I could probably move it. What am I looking at here? This? That's a track? Maybe? Oh yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Is there something under it? Oh, there is. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, don't step on it. What is that? The inscription reads, For permitting others to suffer. <laughs> I got a Heart of Darkness medal. I'm not familiar with that one. <laughs> Covered in blood as well. <laughs> Alright. Right, can we use this? Right, um... Nothing else that needs to be pushed, right? Oh god, what the hell was that? Maybe something upstairs. Or something downstairs, I don't know. Sounds squishy. Right, let's have a look at the attic, shall we? Okay, lots and lots of machinery. Whoa, 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 we got static, here we go. What's going on? Oh, 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 what's that? Oh, uh, is that new or is that another schism? Oh no, it went over you! <laughs> that was going to be the perfect surprise attack. Right, yeah, there you go. Just pummel him, back him into a corner. There's no retreating, there's no evading. Stun locked to death. There's nothing he can do. Right, what were you doing? It's like he was resting or something, honestly. Not protecting anything. Just look at these fans. Crazy. Oh, we can squeeze through here. Okay. Hey, there's something lit up down there. What was that, a mask? Oh, it's not a mask. It's shotgun ammunition. And pistol ammunition. Okay. Well, that was pretty nice. Was that, was that like a little secret area? I guess. No masks, though, no... Well, there's a jacket. <laughs> but apart from that, yeah, no masks, no medals, no bunnies, nothing like that. Uh, that's where I did that horrible slide puzzle last time, wasn't it? The, uh, the room hidden behind the bookcase. There must be another way around. So, yeah, let's squeeze back through. And go to the other side of the attic, I suppose. What is that? Oh, can we go under that? Yes, there's a mannequin. Is that another medal? Pinned to the chest? The inscription reads, For atrocities committed this time. It's a vile axe medal. Okay. Oh, bloody hell. Shit. Right, there you go. Let's back you up into a corner. And let the dagger do its thing. Oh my goodness. Like, all the new ones in the combat has just sort of left the building. Providing I left click three times and right click once, everything dies. Everything but bosses, I suppose. Right, so there you go. Right, so where did you come from? I guess you were hiding over here. Were you protecting anything? No? No ammo? No more medals? So let's have a look. I'm carrying quite a lot of items now. Maybe, like, the most items I've ever carried in this game so far. So, yeah, two medals, two masks. Are we looking for, like, two cleavers and two bunnies? Maybe. Let's continue looking. I know they sort of redid the place and made it all over, but this is a bit excessive, isn't it? I'm, I can understand painting the walls a little bit, but redoing the plumbing? and We don't need this many pipes, do we? Right. Does anyone believe he's dead? <laughs> oh. oh god. I think it's just that attack I need to be wary of. And I've, I learned in the police station that that's kind of easy to deal with. You just sidestep to the left. And uh, yeah, it's very rare that you get hit otherwise. God damn. I think it's, it's going to be some weird day when I use the fire axe again. I think that's going to be reserved for, like, hacking through boards, and that's pretty much it. Is that down there? Anything? No? Okay. 
Under here? Yep. All right. Maybe this is the way that leads to the, the jacket in that room. <laughs> when was the last time I hopped over anything? Okay. Well, this is it. There's the jacket. What's this? There's space for three... Oh, medals, right. There's only one here. Oh, we take it? Uh, this inscription reads for dereliction of duty. That's the fallen star medal. Okay. So we, we don't put these back in the box? No. No, we take them. We put them somewhere else. What's up with the jacket? Oh. Oh, the jacket's for the medals? Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Uh, three little clips for them. Uh, let's see. Heart of Darkness, Vile Acts, Fallen Star. Does it matter in which order I put these? I hope not. Right. Uh, did something happen? Oh, right. Okay, I can back up. Back away from it. Ah, one of those symbols is lit up. Right. Right, so, hang on, does that mean that... Are we, are we done? Are we done with this area? I think we're done with the medals at the very least. What about the mannequins? Nothing. These things are filthy! What am I supposed to do with these? Well, nothing, just leave them there. Yeah, I don't think there's anything here, actually. Okay, so we did that, that's lit up. I guess what we need to do now is probably go back to the lever and, uh, and try to access another area. Okay, yeah, sure, so... I guess the masks are for somewhere else, the, the bunnies for somewhere else, and the cleavers for somewhere else? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, let's squeeze back through, and let's head downstairs. Hopefully there's no more schisms to kill. Well, there is static, but it might be coming from the basement, it might be coming from the dining room, the kitchen, I don't know. Right. Which room is the third light? Okay, so the attic closes its doors, but is that the bedroom? I guess so. Yeah, we're going back upstairs. We're going to my old bedroom, I think, to sort out another puzzle. Right. I don't like the sound of that. Oh, there's nothing here. Okay. Uh, right. Let's just go around the room sort of systematically. What, what we got here? We can examine it. The patient in room 206 is scheduled to undergo a transorbital lobotomy tomorrow. I've mandated that the following medications be doubled on the day of the procedure. Uh, the rest of the message is blurred and illegible. Fair enough. Can't take any of the medications myself, though. Okay, so what's written down here? Nobody saw when you were... Here we go. Nobody saw when you were crying on your bed. I wanted to help you, but I hid myself instead. The ticking of a clock... Then suddenly not. Fate left me here. In shadow I will rot. Under my covers the darkness kept me in. Only the daylight can save me from my sin. Only the daylight can save me from my sin. Right. I was wondering if that was daylight there, but no, it's just some fucking floodlight they got in. Sure. Much like the one downstairs, that doesn't really mean too much to me at the moment. Windows look a bit different, but sure. Uh, I assume this can cut? Yes. Yeah. It has all the uses of the knife before it. Squeeze through. So this is the sort of secret area that was behind the um, the bookcase before. Ooh, it's a drawing. And, and the knife? Yeah, we're taking a knife. A butcher knife. I'm assuming, like the cleaver, that isn't a weapon. Alright, what's this? Is that the Sandman again? Maybe. Nothing written on the back this time. Hmm. It's never good. Okay, anything else? So yeah, let's just take a look. Yeah. The butcher knife and the cleaver. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm looking for another rabbit. I don't know. If anywhere, it probably would be in the bedroom, you'd think. Nothing on the ceiling? No holes in the floor? Nothing behind the box. Okay. Alright, let's come through. Um, is that it? Are we done with this area? 
Because I don't think we can... Oh! What am I doing? Hang on. Oh. Oh, there's a... Oh, fucking hell, I didn't even see that. There's a clock here. Uh... Hang on. Oh, we can move this around, I see. What did it say over there? Because it did mention time, didn't it, or something? The, the, yeah, the, the ticking of a clock... What was it? The, the, the sort of second part of the poem. The ticking of a clock, then suddenly not. Fate left me here, in shadow I will rot. It, it seems I can manipulate the clock hands, so I'm going to try, like, I guess... 206, because that's when all the clocks stopped, right? So... Two. Look at this. This is probably why the slide puzzle was so damn difficult last time. The hitboxes for what actually what you need to do is just fucking awful. There, right. Oh god damn it, right there. I want you to go there. There you are. Alright. I knew there was something funky about those windows. They didn't look right. Okay. Okay, what do we need to place here? The bunny? Yeah, okay. Ooh! That's the second area down, I think, yeah! Wait, so what did I just... <laughs> Let me read that again. Oh, maybe that, that was the end bit, wasn't it? Under my... Yeah, 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 yeah. Under my covers, the darkness kept me in. Only the daylight can save me from my sin. That was the only one that was letting any light through. All the others were dark. So that's daylight back there, believe it or not, I think. So I think there was only the one bunny. Alright, okay, well, that was simple enough. That was pretty cool. We definitely can't go through here, though. Okay, I'm pretty satisfied that we're done with this area, so I think we're going back yet again to the lever to, uh, to go through one of the ground floor doors, I suppose. But which one is it going to be? This is pretty cool, actually. Uh, to be honest, I wasn't expecting so many sort of like puzzles in this. Right, okay, so it looks like it's the basement for us next. And there's something really, really bad behind those double doors. So yeah, good thing I'm saving that till later. Okay, not get into the fuse box or anything. Uh, here we go. Well, you know what? At the very least, there's no more flooding. <laughs> I guess I'm just looking on the bright side right now. Just so many fans. Fans that we don't need. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> Still lurkers down here though. That's always a problem. Where'd you come? Oh, there's a little hole down there. Ah, oh, couldn't the decorators have blocked that up? Seriously, just like plaster over it or something? No, they spent all the budget making this look like a fucking foundry instead. Alright, can't go through there, but I think we can. Yep, we can duck under here. God, this is weird. Cool, though. I am so pleasantly surprised by this game, really. I think I should have given it a second chance back when it came out. Or maybe the PC port was just too bad. Maybe it was so horrendous I couldn't be bothered with it. But it, it's okay now, certainly. Definitely worth a go. Alright, oh, hang on. So this... This is the uh, the secret room, isn't it? This is why I needed the dagger in the first place. Yeah, yeah. Squeeze through. There we go. Oh shit! Oh my god. Is that a um? Is that a schism? Without a head. Well, there it is. Hang on, hang on. Look at this. There are blood stains all over the blade. I got a bo bogeyman knife. Okay. Bogeyman knife? Really? Hang on, let's take a look at it. Okay. Hmm, I think I know where the knives go. There's a special spot for each knife on the board. So let's investigate. <sighs> right. So... Oh, hang on. Oh, that's one of them! Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, hang on, okay, so, uh, this one here, this would probably be the butcher knife? That fits! That's where the cleaver goes, obviously. The bogeyman knife? Does that go there? <laughs> it doesn't even go on the board. Okay, I think we're still, we're still missing two, though. I guess that's gotta be in the kitchen or something. Oh, no, 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 we're done! 
Really? Okay. Well, that was pretty simple. Uh, just one more area to go to then. Here we go. Oh, oh. Is it? It's a little bug. It's a... Really? You've been causing all that noise? Really? Just the one? They travel in pairs, don't they, at the very least? Alright, what's up with this? We've got four windows again, although they look kind of normal this time. Can't cut the skin, it looks like. Okay. Well, that was it. Oh god, look at that. Ooh. What about this door? Can we open this up? No, still. Locked. I can't open it. Okay, so uh, the dining room doesn't really have too much to it. This is the kitchen. Oh, health drink. Oh, mask! Again, this reminds me of my mother. Although, I don't remember her ever looking sad. I got a frowning mask. Okay. Let's pick up the health drink, though. And, uh... Stick my hand in the hole. No, 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 no. Oh, God. <laughs> Stamp on them. Yes. Just the two? Yeah. See, I told you. They travel in pairs. What about the other one? What's this, like, ultra widescreen crap? What the f What? You missed that completely, but whatever. Whatever. That was weird. Do we not reach in then? I guess not. Uh, okay. What about this door? Does this work? No, that looks broken. This one? Okay, alright. Who needs the double doors? Oh my god. What the hell is this? What does that say? To hide her pain, this face she did wear. It trails off. Maybe this... Oh, more on the other side? Oh, oh god. Behind this mask, her heart was laid bare. Okay, she, right. Did we find all the masks? I think we only need two. We've got three to choose from. Angry, indifferent, or frowning. So, to hide the pain this face she did wear. Um, well, that's not hiding. Didn't I say when I picked up the indifferent mask that looks like my mum? There you go. Perfect fit. But this is, uh, this is what she was really feeling. Angry? Was she angry? No? I guess not. I guess she was probably saddened. She was frowning. Ugh. Frowning. Yes. Yes. Okay. And that's it. That's all four sections. Does that mean I can rotate the wheel and actually get the hell out of here? I'm hoping so. I'm really hoping so at this point. Alright, so I guess there's nothing in the cupboards over here, or... No. Can we even go outside? Probably not. <laughs> no. No, if it took that much effort to open the front door, we couldn't just slip out the back. Alright, let's give this another try. Aha! Uh -huh. This has to be right. That's more like it. Where the hell have you been? Elle. Elle, I thought you were... She's gone. Who? My mom. I can't find her anywhere. The entire town's gone. I think I know where they are. I found this. I'm not sure what it all means, but we need to get to Silent Hill. 
Are you serious? My dad was serious enough to risk his life going there. That's where Josh is. I'm sure of it. And everyone else? <laughs> Wheeler, I thought we lost you. For the second time. You're not getting rid of me that easy. Glad to hear it. We have a lot to fill you in on. In the meantime, can you get us a boat? We're going to Silent Hill. I guess that's a yes. She got epaulets or something? Oh. Why don't you just wear the jacket? I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? This isn't your fault. No. About earlier today. Flyers. Forget it. I should apologize. It's just this place. It brings back bad memories for me. You know, I, I never understood why you left. One day you were just Look, I didn't say it before, but I'm glad you're back. I feel safer with you here. Everything's just been falling apart around us, you know, but you just keep moving forward. Yes, you do. You could just leave again. Alex, tell me what you know about Silent Hill. I know Joshua and I were told a hundred times never to go there. Yeah, my mom was pretty strict about it, too. Yeah, well, your parents are right. I'll tell you. But it all fits. All those things we've seen in Shepherd's Glen, the nightmares. What do you mean? Silent Hill is what I mean. This has bad history. Always has. You been there? Didn't need to. I heard enough. When I decided to move east, I was looking at a job in Bronx, working with the police. <laughs> at the time, they had this cop. I can't remember her name, but she oh. gone to Silent Hill. Well, what happened to her? No one knows. She was fine. Out of town, but I'd heard rumors about the people who lived there. I got the good ending, remember? They're not too friendly to people who don't share their beliefs. Yeah. And when I met with your father about working in Shepherd's Glen, he told me I would never have to go to Silent Hill. I guess there's some sort of irony here. Do you really think we're going to find anyone there? Alex, there's a light up ahead. I think we might be at the pier. No, I don't see anything. What should we do? Turn off our light. I don't want anybody to know we're coming. <laughs> <laughs> too late. Way too late. Let go of her. <laughs> oh. You should have used your dagger. How do I unlock it? I suppose I have to kill this thing to start with. Oh no, it went over you. At the very least, there's no more flooding. <laughs> I guess I'm just looking on the bright side right now. Oh, oh, is it? It's a little bug. It's a, really? You've been causing all that noise? Really? Just the one? Which is like ultra widescreen crap. What the? F what? You missed that completely. But whatever. Whatever. That was weird. Okay. All right. Who needs the double doors? Oh my god. 